More startling revelations uncovered by CNN, pointing to another cover-up in the ongoing VA scandal. CNN has now learned the records of dead veterans may have been changed or physically altered, some even in recent weeks, to make dead patients look alive and to hide just how many patients died while waiting for care at a Phoenix VA hospital. Our senior investigative correspondent, Drew Griffin, he's broken the story for all of us. He has new details of the latest developments. So, Drew, what are you learning? Well, if these allegations are coming from one of our original sources on this story, the actual keeper of that secret list, Pauline DeWinter, she is coming forward now because she believes a cover-up is continuing there. Pauline DeWinter, a scheduling clerk at the Phoenix VA, is coming forward because she believes she knows something that is frankly unthinkable. She says someone now is trying to hide the number of U.S. veterans who died here waiting for care. In seven cases so far, where she has determined a veteran on a waiting list was in fact deceased, she says someone above her has changed the record back. The veteran suddenly listed as alive. Somebody is going on that electronic wait list and where people are identified as being dead somebody is changing that and saying no they're not dead correct to hide the fact people died on that list that's my belief what would be the other any other purpose there wouldn't be any other purpose why de winter says the numbers of dead in this va waitlist scandal may be even bigger than first reported and someone she says is trying to cover up the record and that has been happening fairly recently. Yes. That is a cover-up. Yes. Did you feel that the investigators are onto that? Yes. Because you told them. I have surrendered evidence, yes. If there ever was a doubt there was a secret waiting list at the Phoenix VA, DeWinter says she's here to lay those doubts to rest. There simply were not enough doctors not enough appointments to handle new patients, backlog patients, and yes, very sick patients. De Winter, a scheduling clerk, was making life and death decisions. And that really overtook even the wait list because now I have a consult where veterans are very sick. So I have to ease up on the, on the wait list. It just sounds so wrong to say, but and work these schedule appointments so at least I felt the sickest of the sick were being treated. And you're making basically those triage decisions? Yes. Well, if we ask the Veterans Administration directly to respond to the allegations made in this report, they only gave us a generic statement saying that they are working hard to reduce the wait list and try to fix the systemic problems at the VA. But apparently, this investigation could get very nasty out in Phoenix as a cover-up may be continuing there. It's hard to believe, uh, Drew. Uh, just when you think you've heard it all, more comes out. And I suspect uh, we're just beginning to hear some of these huge, huge problems. You're staying on top of the story for our viewers throughout the day in the coming days and weeks, right? Yes, absolutely. Wolf. All right, Drew, thanks very much for the important work you're doing.